So, I was meditating 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 8 to 10 in TPT version. It says here, Three times I pleaded with the Lord to relieve me of this. But He answered me, My grace is always more than enough for you, and my power finds its full expression through your weakness. So, I will celebrate my weakness, for when I'm weak, I sense more deeply the mighty power of Christ living in me. So I'm not defeated by my weakness, but delighted. For when I feel my weakness and endure mistreatment, when I'm surrounded with troubles on every side and face persecution because of my love for Christ, I am made yet stronger. For my weakness becomes a portal to God's power. So as I was meditating this, naiyak ako kasi... Um, everybody is going through something and it's the same with me. We are, I am not excused. So sometimes we plead God to take away these challenges, these problems, but in reality, God wants us to face them because we need to know and to really be confident that He is more than enough for us to conquer it. His power can only take place if we are in our weakness kasi wala na tayong pride or ego at that time and there will be true humility at at that point so and then i come to this second corinthians chapter 4 verse 16 to 18 so, uh, in msg version it says so we're not giving up how could we even though on the outside it often looks like things are falling apart on us on the inside where god is making new life not a day goes by without his unfolding grace these hard times are small potatoes compared to the coming good times so, imaginein mo yung pinagdadaanan mo, yung problema mo ngayon na seemingly parang napakalaki. Small potatoes lang pala. Sabi niya sa word, because sabi niya, when you do not give up, the lavish celebration prepared for us. Nand nandun ako sa point na fini akala ko pinifake ko na lang na I will believe God to... Uh, to really intervene in this situation. Pero hindi mo alam, you are walking by faith. Fini faith mo talaga because everything is not aligning in you and what you want anymore. So that means God can actually inter intercede and work through you because of that. Yung akala mo, fini faith mo lang, pero you don't know. By, by walking into these words, God is already empowering you and you are refreshed. And you will be hopeful that God will really work into your favor. So, I was just reminded this morning about this. Kaya nabibless ako. So, sabi nga niya sa 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 in MSG version, And how bold and free we then become in His presence, freely asking according to His will, sure that He's listening. And if we're confident that he's listening, we know that we've asked for is as good as ours. So whatever you are going through right now, na seemingly parang uh, wala na siyang solution for you, God knows you can boldly and freely go to his presence and ask so that you will see the power that is in you na magmanifest sa situation mo na binigay ni Daddy God sa'yo. So that's it for today. God bless you all. Thank you.